Compliments of the season to you and welcome to another episode of Energy and You. It's a weekly show that captures events around the energy sector with a focus on the Nigerian National Petroleum Company, NNPC Limited. I'm Egusa Igumbo. On this episode, the long-awaited moment is here. NNPC Limited delivers on its promise. The Port Harcourt Refinery Area 5 plant has achieved mechanical completion and is set for operations after rehabilitation. Board members of NNPC Limited, Ministers of State for Petroleum Resources and management staff of the National Oil Company witnessed the historic event. And as the year rounds up, more milestones achieved by NNPC Limited as partnerships are sealed with the Delta State governments, Total Energies and other companies on numerous projects, including technology on methane detection. It promises to be an engaging time tonight, so sit back and relax. Energy and you begins now. We begin the show with global news in the energy sector. Oil prices are set to keep rising as the week goes by because of growing tensions in the Middle East, following Houthi attacks on ships in the Red Sea. Although Angola's decision to leave OPEC raised questions over the group's effectiveness in supporting prices. Brand crude futures went up 92 cents over the weekend to $80.31 a barrel. And U.S. West Texas Intermediate crude futures were also up by $1.02 at $74.91 a barrel. Both Brent and West Texas Intermediate futures were on track for an over 4% week-on-week gain, buoyed by rising geopolitical risk due to the Red Sea attacks and potential disruptions to shipping operations. Despite the geopolitical tensions supporting oil, Prices recorded day-on-day -day declines as Angola announced it would leave OPEC. The African nation, which produces around 1.1 million barrels per day, said its membership of the organization was not serving its interest, having protested against the decision by the wider OPEC Plus group to reduce Angola's output quota for 2024. Angola had been seeking a higher OPEC output quota. Its decision to leave the organization of petroleum exporting countries could open the way for Beijing to increase investments in the country's oil and other sectors as part of a deepening of decades-old ties. The International Energy Agency will work to ensure the World Bank, regional development banks and others prioritize the costs of investing in clean energy in developing countries following the just-concluded COP28 summit that's according to its executive director. World governments agreed to triple renewable energy generation capacity by 2030 and transition away from fossil fuels at the COP28 United Nations Climate Conference in Dubai. But no mechanism was agreed to finance the transition to clean energy in developing countries. Clean energy investments in emerging and developing countries have been flat since 2015, whereas globally it almost doubled with most of the growth coming from China and advanced economies. IEA Executive Director Fatih Birol said on the sidelines of an energy conference in Istanbul. Now, the moment we've all been waiting for is here. The Nigerian National Petroleum Company, NNPC Limited, has achieved the mechanical completion of the rehabilitation work on the Area 5 plant of the Port Harcourt Refining Company. This is in fulfillment of its pledge to get the refinery back on stream before the end of 2023. By mechanical completion, it means that the plant can now process hydrocarbons. Board members, management staff, EPC contractors, host community members and friends of the company gathered at the Port Harcourt Refinery to witness this historic event. After over two years of ongoing rehabilitation at the refinery, NMPC Limited delivered on its promise to complete phase one of the project, focusing on mechanical completion and flare startup by the set deadline of 31st December 2023. During the 15th Refinery's Rehabilitation Steering Committee meeting and inspection tour, 
The GCEO NMPC Limited, Millie Carey, noted that 84.4% of Area 5 plant and 77.4% of the entire rehabilitation project had been completed as at 15th of December 2023. Thank you, team, for doing a great work and for keeping to the promise that we made to our shareholders, the over 200 million Nigerians. And we know that this is a promise that we can keep. We have a competent contractor and subcontractors. Our staff are extremely determined to deliver on this project. It's a matter of emotion for very many of our staff in this company. And that today it is promise fulfilled. We are done with the first one. We will complete the first two as we promised within 2024, maximum the last quarter of 2024. And this value will continue to be seen in our, in our country. And more importantly, for my colleagues in NMPs, particularly those of them on this beat, I'd like to thank you for, for your commitment and for your loyalty to the company. While commending staff and engineering, procurement, construction, installation and commissioning EPCIC contractors for achieving the milestone, he emphasized on NMPC Limited's commitment to restream the refinery, thereby delivering value to Nigerians. Chairman of the company's board, Chief Pius Akinye Lure, described the achievement as historic and expressed pride in the staff and management of the refinery. He emphasized the goal of reaching the highest level of production to stabilize petroleum prices and generate more revenue for the country. I am this morning with my other colleagues to witness this historic event happening in our time. For that all, the refinery has, I mean, has undergone several rehabilitation that do not prove to be used. But today, we are happy that we'll be seeing later in the day what you people have done under a collaborative effort. We are very proud of the staff, proud of the entire management of the refinery. I want to say we have just started. We want to be at the highest level of our production so that we can keep the petroleum prices stable and supply stable in our country. And this will bring comfort to the people around here, people in the, in the city, people in Nigeria as well, and if possible, export part of our surpluses. Minister of State for Petroleum Resources, Oil, Senator Heineken Lokwobiri, and Minister of State for Petroleum, Gas, Ekwerikwe Epo, recognized the feat as a part of the renewed hope agenda of President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, stressing that the restreaming of the refinery will impact positively on the supply and price of liquefied petroleum gas LPG across the country since it is a major byproduct of the refinery. All of us had to be, you know, on top of our, you know, our games so that today becomes a reality. And I'm happy that, you know, the journalists that are here are also witnesses to what we're seeing here. The mechanical part is completed, and this is the beginning of, you know, the completion of not just this particular refinery, you know, phase one and two, but the one for Ori and then the one in Karuna, so that we'll be able to benefit from this massive investment that the country has made. I'm really impressed, and it is a good news equally to LPG users that as the refinery commence after Christmas we'll have a sufficient uh, supply of uh, LPG which will automatically reduce the import at that level. So it is something to celebrate and uh, if I pour encomiums on the GCO it is not uh, flattering because I know the joy that is in the hearts of Nigerians with the coming up on stream of this uh, first one. Others will follow suit because they have fulfilled the first assignment and I believe others will be completed on schedule. Fabio Del Chiopo, Managing Director of Technimont Nigeria Limited, one of the EPC contractors for the rehabilitation project, restated the company's commitment to fulfilling the terms of the contract. What you have seen today I think is something concrete and real that uh, about our commitment that start long ago and we hopefully will continue in the future if Nigeria and NPC will allow us. So thanks everybody. I want to spend also a few words about our subcontractor. They are fully Nigerian, so and they did a great job. As well, the community, we had a full integration of the community, so that was a smooth work for us. Also thanks to the help with an, from NPC. And as well, I have seen that we reached 
10 million man hours with zero LTI. So, and this thanks to our subcontractor and NPC, the guidance of everybody. So we hope that uh, we appreciate the contribution that Tecmon, uh, let's say, brought on this project, and we are committed for the future as well. The rehabilitation project, costing about $1.5 billion, represents a comprehensive EPCIC project covering engineering, procurement, construction, installation, and commissioning phases. Achieving mechanical completion marks the closure of the construction and installation phases, a crucial step towards revitalizing Nigeria's refining capabilities. Importantly, this milestone was accomplished with an outstanding health, safety and environment HSE record of over 9.5 million man-hours with zero lost time injury LTI. A testament to NMPC Limited's commitment to excellence and responsible project execution. Nigeria has started reaping the benefits of its participation at the United Nations Climate Change Conference, also known as COP28 in Dubai, UAE, with the recent signing of a memorandum of understanding between the Nigerian National Petroleum Company, NNPC Limited, and Total Energies on the adoption of a technology to monitor methane emissions in the oil and gas production facilities. The execution of the MOU, which was carried out at the NNPC Towers Abuja, was a follow-up to earlier discussions held between NNPC management and the Group Chief Executive Officer of Total Energies Worldwide, Patrick Puyane, at the COP28 in Dubai. NNPC Limited signed an agreement with Total Energies for the adoption and deployment of methane detection technology known as the Airborne Ultralight Spectrometer for Environmental Application, AUSEA, across its upstream operations. The objective is to leverage Total Energies AUSEA technology to evaluate methane emissions from NMPC Limited's upstream sites with the aim of developing measures to curtail emissions and contribute to the global effort against climate change. The MOU signing involved NMPC Limited's Executive Vice President Upstream, Orishime Iwa Eyeson, and Total Energy's Managing Director and Country Chair, Matthew Boyer. The ceremony was overseen by NMPC Limited's Group Chief Executive Officer, Mele Kiari, and Total Energy's Chairman and CEO, Patrick Puyani. Expressing gratitude for Total Energy's enduring partnership, Mele Kiari noted the company's commitment to doing business in Nigeria as a reliable partner. Good to receive you here. Uh, as always, uh, partner of choice. Uh, we don't mean what around this. Uh, Total has been one of our great partners in, in this country, both on our joint venture and PSC assets. And we proudly say this anywhere. And we continue to see prospect of doing more and more business with Total in this country as we grow opportunities, uh, great value for our shareholders as we do always. Loading NMPC Limited for its transition into a limited liability company and implementing reforms, Patrick Puyani reiterated his company's dedication to sustainable hydrocarbon production. I must recognize and thank you that the situation has improved a lot in the GV cash cash call, cash call. So thank you for that. It's a ch signature of change. It's a modern company. So we are very happy to engage with an NPC Limited now and uh, to his CEO and uh, his board. I explained that we were providing some technologies to detect methane and to, uh, in order to detect fugitive emissions and to have a better understanding of all the methane emissions. Thank you to you, Mene, uh, to have engaged as well an NPC on these uh, oil and gas decarbonization accelerator. You know, it's, I think it's important for industry that we can demonstrate step after step that we are acting. And I want NNPC not only to be the best partner for Total Energy, or Total to be your best partners, but it's reciprocate to work on these matters together. Highlighting the implementation phase of the AUSEA technology, the EVP upstream, Orishemeiwa Eyeson, emphasized that its focus will be on NNPC Limited's owned production operations. Total is offering this to NMPC own owned operation. So we will be using the technology to um, identify, monitor, and um, later words we can then come in, um, deploy a methane abatement strategy. But basically this is to enable us identify and monitor methane emissions. 
So we think this is the right step in the right direction. And once again, we really appreciate uh, the gesture from, from Total Energies. The deployment of the AUSEA technology would help in identifying unaccounted emission sources, improving current emission reporting processes, reviewing operational systems, implementing corrective actions, and estimating flare combustion efficiency. This collaboration underscores NMPC Limited and Total Energy's commitment to environmental responsibility and sustainable energy practices. Time for our weekly update on NNPC Limited's fight against crude oil theft and pipeline vandalism. Between the 16th and 22nd of December 2023, 322 incidences were recorded from several incident sources. Pipeline Infrastructure Nigeria Limited Maton Engineering Nigeria Limited, Tantita Security Services, Shell Petroleum Development Company, NNPC Command and Control Center, and Government Security Agencies. In the past week, 113 illegal refineries were discovered in Ulodiama, Ekeremo, West Boma, Otwasega, Oporomo, Okoroma, Nembe, and Ukibie in Bayelsa State, Udu and Mereje in Delta State, Tombo, Akara, and Opata in River State. 77 illegal connections were uncovered in Olodiama and Ogboimbiri in Bayelsa State. 10 illegal storage sites were discovered in Delta, Bayelsa, Akwaibom, and River State. 24 cases of vandalism were reported this week in River State and Delta State. While 61 wooden boats conveying stolen crude were arrested and confiscated in Delta State and River State, 23 vehicle arrests were made in Delta State, and nine vessel AIS infractions were recorded. Nine of these incidents took place in the Deep Blue Water, 64 in the Eastern Region, 67 in the Western Region, 182 took place in the Central Region. Between the 16th and 22nd of December 2023, 12 suspects were arrested. For NNPC Limited, there is no backing down on the war against crude oil theft until the menace is eradicated for good. To report crude oil theft or suspicious activities within your area, call the numbers on your screen now or send an email to report at stopcrudetheft.com. Handsome rewards await the whistleblower. Do your part. Report oil theft today. You are still watching Energy and You. Now, in a groundbreaking move towards positioning natural gas as the key fuel for driving the nation's economic and industrial growth, NNPC Limited, the Delta State Government, and UTM Offshore have signed a shareholders' agreement for the construction of the first floating 
liquefied natural gas facility in Nigeria. This historic event took place at the company's headquarters in Abuja. Let's watch how the event unfolded. The signing ceremony marked a significant milestone as NMPC Limited entered into an agreement with UTM Offshore, an indigenous company, and the Delta State Government for the development of Nigeria's first floating liquefied natural gas FLNG facility. Speaking at the event, the GCEO NMPC Limited, Melikari, outlined the company's ambitious plan to revolutionize the nation within the next two to three years by leveraging gas resources. He expressed the company's commitment to the project, highlighting it as the first of its kind, with the company holding equity. This floating LNG is the first that we are taking keen interest and taking equity in it. But more than this, we are doing very many other initiatives. There are several number of other floating LNG that we have interest in. We are promoting them, we are pushing them forward, including fixed uh, LNG projects. So it will be a, almost a revolution in our country within the next two, three years. And the outcomes will be clear on the table, prosperity will be on the table, value will be created so that not just creating gas for exports, but creating gas into the domestic market. The executive governor of Delta State, Sheriff Oborevori, who was there to witness the event, highlighted the state government's strategic investment in the floating liquefied natural gas FLNG facility project, holding an 8% equity due to the state's conviction about its importance to the national economy. The Delta State government decided to take 8% uh, equity because of our conviction of the strategic importance of this project to the national economy. Because it's very key to our economy, you know. And um, the, the, with the 40% of proven gas reserve in Nigeria in Delta State, it's worthy investment. The Honorable Minister of State for Petroleum Resources, Gas, Honorable Ekberikwe Ekbo, in his speech, affirmed that the FLNG would monetize Nigeria's gas resources, drive economic growth, and ensure energy security. Today, I'm really grateful to witness the signing of this tech, um, shareholders' agreement regarding gas. When I resume office on the 21st, of August, I was made to understand that we have about 208 trillion cubic feet of gas in the reserves. And wherever I go, I preach this gospel. But deep inside me, I've been thinking, when shall we begin to tap from these uh, reserves? But today, I've heard and witnessed, and through the UTM, under the strong leadership of NNPC that we have in GCO, that those stranded uh, gas will be monetized to drive our own economy. And this will give uh, us the ample opportunity of having energy security with low carbon emission. So I salute the leadership of NNPC. I salute the, um, the governor of uh, Delta State and uh, UTM for this collaboration, or this is the direction that we need to go. The group managing director, UTM Offshore, Mr. Julius Rone, lauded the shareholders' agreement execution as a significant milestone in actualizing Nigeria's first indigenous floating liquefied natural gas facility. We see this great opportunity of monetizing our offshore stranded gas with the floating LNG technology, which has been proven around the world. We want to first and foremost to thank Mr. President for his vision for piloting the development of Nigerian gas industry. Recently, Mr. President was in Dubai where he made commitment to ensure that there is complete zero flare down in the country and ensure that Nigeria will use our gas as a transition to cleaner energy. Your Excellency, sir, this project is in line with Mr. President's commitment. Not only this project will create value in terms of job opportunity for the teaming youth of Nigeria, it will also create revenue that the country requires to develop infrastructure. Also speaking, the Executive Vice President Gas, Power and New Energy, NMPC Limited, Mr. Olaliko Ogunleye, praised the federal government for its belief in gas as a catalyst for economic growth especially through the Decade of Gas Initiative. Success is orchestrated. It just doesn't happen. 
I want to start by saluting the federal government of Nigeria for its belief in the ability of gas to drive economic growth, which has been exemplified uh, by the initiative to create a gas economy and also um, several initiatives that are, being, that are in flight, such as the decade of gas. Um, specifically, to thank the leadership of NMPCL uh, for the vision and the commitment to, for the acceleration of gas commercialization and identifying the floating LNG as a veritable tool to achieve that speed to market. The FLNG facility is projected to produce 1.81 to 2.72 metric tons per annum of gas, with NMPC Limited, UTM Offshore, and the Delta State Government holding 20%, 72%, and 8% equity stakes respectively. This collaborative effort marks a significant leap towards unlocking the full potential of Nigeria's gas resources for sustainable development. And that's the show this week. Many thanks for watching. Let's do this again next time. But if you missed any part of the show or previous episodes, you can catch up by scanning the QR code on your screen now. Remember to also follow us on all our social media handles showing on your screen to get updates of events in Nigeria's energy sector and other activities of NNPC Limited. I'm Egosa Igumbo. Do enjoy your holidays and we'll see you in the new year. From all of us at NNPC Limited, happy holidays. <music>